limits anymore. We've got to champion those people. Let me give an example. I was working in New Orleans with uh, Steve Sharple, who at that time was general manager of the, of the uh, Marriott in New Orleans. And I got there late at night, 10 o'clock, and I got out of my taxi, and the young man stepped, the bellman stepped off that curb, walked right up to me, and he said, I'm Mel Washington, and I'll be your bellman from right here all the way to your room. Well, I was really impressed. I don't think I've ever had a bellman introduce himself to shake my hand. And he cleared up something I often am confused about. I never know quite what to tip the individual that gets you from the taxi to the front desk. I mean, I got front desk to the room. He said, I'll be your bellman all the way. He said, you go ahead and check in. I'm going to step over the concierge stand, pick up some things you might enjoy reading while you're here. I said, Mel, this is really good. So we're going up to the room. He said, you've been here before. I said, well, it's been a while. He said, let me tell you some things might have changed. So he's going through that. We get to the room. He, of course, does the ice and ice bucket. And then he goes, come here, come here. And he walks over to the drapes. And he opens the drapes. And he said, you see that building over there? He said, that's the St. James Cathedral. He said, you see the one over yonder? He said, that's the edge of Jackson Square. In the morning when you get up and you look out across the French Quarter, you'll know exactly what you're looking at. And then the last thing he did, he said, here's my business card. It's got my home phone on the back. You call me 24 hours a day. We'll make sure you get your needs met. I said, Mel, you are very impressive as I handed him that big tip. Well, the next morning I met with Steve, and I told Steve how impressed I was with Mel Washington. And what really impressed me is he gave me his business card and told me to call him 24 hours a day. Steve got a funny look on his face. Our bellmen don't have business cards, he said. I said, oops. I said, well, Mel figured out a way to get one. A week later, I got a call from Steve. He said, i got to tell you about Mel. Mel is now in charge of our bell stand, and by the way, they all have business cards. <laughs> That's the definition of champion. It's looking for ways to say we've got to call people, recognize those people, and affirm those people, and champion those people who say it doesn't make any sense to do it this way.